This Ridley O sponsored by Keenvention Yard Info. It's a keen convention, you'll have to go. Quote, contributing to maintain an army at a distance causes the people to be impoverished. Unquote. <laughs> oh, yeah, so we need military bases and however many overseas hot occupations. Quote, therefore, in chariot fighting, when ten or more chariots have been taken, these should be rewarded. Uh, those should be rewarded who took the first. Our own flag should be substituted for those of the enemy and the chariots mingled and used in conjunction with ours. The captured soldiers should be treated kindly and kept. Unquote. Well, now, how kindly are they treating those capturees at Abu Ghraib or Guantanamo or Bagram Air Force Base, where they, well, not even the not even all the people they're capturing are even combatants. They grabbed a taxi driver and beat his knees so hard that if he hadn't died, he would have had both of the legs amputated. Turned out he was apparently innocent. That's how they treat their capturees. Sun Tzu also says, and I don't have the exact quote right in front of me, but he says you should, well, I guess I should look up the quote. Hang on. Okay, I'm not sure how, how bad or good they are at following this one since it happens so, so out of sight. But, quote, The enemy's spies who have come to spy on us must be sought out, tempted with bribes, led away, and comfortably housed. Thus, they will become converted spies and available for our service, unquote. Anyway, that point I'm trying to make is that Sun Tzu, you know, what was it, 2,500 years ago, was more humane than the modern, supposedly civilized uh, federal government. In, in, in the federals, and they're not even, we're not even talking about spies here. The way they treat people is, is so uh, awful. But spies are generally treated even worse than soldiers or combatants. So you just you just have to wonder how Washington is treating the uh, Middle Eastern spies that it might be capturing. You know, sometimes I think this this passage is actually of more use to liberty activists than it is to the government. You were arrested in November of 2011. Because uh, we, we are, you know, we've been thinking a lot about spies, of course, lately, uh, informants, and so forth. Uh, and I think this passage from Sun Tzu maybe provides us some insight as to how to handle this sticky uh, problem. You know, where you treat you treat the spy kindly. Uh, but wow, I mean, <laughs> someone as violent as Sun Tzu. I mean, well, I guess he, for his time, he was not particularly violent. But I mean, his time was very violent and someone speaking from that time and telling us to treat prisoners kindly to treat even spies kindly it's almost like a jesus type thing turn the other cheek but uh, sun tzu comes at it from a different angle i like this one stick number 22 quote hence the enlightened ruler enlightened ruler is heedful and the good general full of caution this is the way to keep a country at peace and an army intact, unquote. I'm not even sure I need to say anything about that one. How about this? Quote, raising a host of a hundred thousand men and marching them great distances entails heavy loss on the people and a drain on the resources of the state. The daily expenditure will amount to a thousand ounces of silver. There will be commotion at home and abroad, and men will drop down exhausted on the highways. As many as 700,000 families will be impeded in their labor. Unquote. Anyway, I could go on, but I think my point is made. Washington has long since abandoned the whole idea of following good military tactics. That's Ridley O. sponsored by... Keenvention Yard Info, it's a keen convention, you'll have to go. Only 50 bucks held near the peak of leaf-peeping season in a place that's fascinating even without its natural beauty. The purpose is to focus discussion on New Hampshire freedom activism. November 1st through the 3rd. Keenvention Yard Info, it's a keen convention, you'll have to go.